Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to work my uptown poncho. I used Lion Brand Wool Ease in color Fisherman and a 6mm crochet hook. It took me around 6.5 skeins of this yarn to make a woman's size poncho in size small or medium. If you would like to make it in any other size, please check out the written pattern on my blog. I have left the link in the description box below. Line Brand Wool Ease is a size 4 yarn. It also comes in a thicker weight, so make sure you pick the worsted weight one that's marked size 4. For this video, I'll be using a different color. I'll be using Grey Heather from Line Brand Wool Ease. So, you, so that my stitches would be more visible on camera. So gather your supplies and let's get started. In this video I'll be explaining how to work the woman size small or medium. Chain 211 to start. This initial chain should be a multiple of 8 plus 3. When you're making a very long chain, it's likely that you lose count. So you can maybe place a marker every 50 chains or every 100 chains. So you, in case you lose your count, you don't have to unravel the whole thing. You can just unravel up to the marker and then restart. I will just be making a small uh, doll size poncho. So my chain will be shorter than yours. So go ahead and chain 211 and come back. So now that you have chained 211, let's start our first row. You will be working a herringbone half double crochet into the third chain from your hook. So this is the first one, second and the third. To work a herringbone half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into this chain or the stitch, pull up a loop through the chain as well as one loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. That completes your herringbone half double crochet. Work a herringbone half double crochet in each chain across to the end. So let's do that a few more times. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the next chain, pull up a loop through the stitch as well as the first loop on your hook. You have two loops left on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two to complete your herringbone half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, pull up a loop through the chain as well as the first loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, pull up a loop through the chain and then the first loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. And keep working herringbone half double crochet to the end of the row. I have chained only 75 because I'm making a doll size one. You will have 211 chains and once you complete this uh, row you will be having a stitch count which is two less than your initial chain so you started with 211 so your final stitch count at the end of row one will be 209 herringbone half double crochet stitches so go ahead complete this row and i'll meet you at the end I'm at the end of my row one now and I have just one chain left. I'll work a herringbone half double crochet into that very last chain to complete my row one. Now to begin row two, chain two. That will count as your first herringbone half double crochet. Done. And work a herringbone half double crochet into the second stitch. This is the first stitch, the stitch from which you have the chain 2 coming out. Since the chain 2 counts as your first stitch, you won't work into that. You will start from the next one and work a herringbone half double crochet into that.
work a herringbone half double crochet into each stitch across to the end so your stitch count will always be 209 every row because we are not adding any increases or decreases so keep working herringbone half double crochet stitches to the end of this row if you find that this is a very slow stitch to work feel free to substitute it with uh, a regular half double crochet stitch or even a double crochet stitch if you want this poncho is made from a simple rectangle shape so if you meet the measurements of the rectangle which I have given in the written pattern you'll be good to go so you can substitute with any stitch you find like you know convenient for you if you find that this is growing very slowly and you know you want the sponge finished quickly so you can you know substitute this part with any other stitch you want like a half double crochet or a double crochet so go ahead and work to the end of this row I'm at the end of row 2 now I have a few more stitches to work so I'll work a herringbone half double crochet into each of them now you should have 209 stitches chain 2 turn and again you'll repeat row 2 which is a herringbone half double crochet into each of the stitches across since a chain 2 counts as a herringbone half double crochet you won't work into that the first stitch but we will start working from the second one and across so work a herringbone half double crochet into the next stitch and each stitch across and when you reach the end of the row you should also work into the top of beginning chain 2 because that also counts as a stitch so make sure you do that I'll meet you at the end of the row and show you how to do that so I'm at the end of row 3 so if you look up close I have 3 stitches left 1 2 3 they're all the same size and very visible and then you have the beginning chain which isn't very clear so you have to work three more herringbone half double crochet and one more into the top of your beginning chain so complete row three by working a herringbone half double crochet into each of the stitches and on top of your beginning chain two if you have trouble identifying your beginning chain two what you can do every time you start a row is when you chain two to start place a marker in that second chain so at the end of the next row the end of the next row when you work the next row and get back here you will know where to do your last herringbone half double crochet and you won't miss that stitch and then you can continue working your herringbone half double crochet into the next stitch and do this every time you start a row with chain 2 place a marker in the second chain so go ahead keep repeating row 2 and remembering to put your last stitch on top of your beginning chain 2 and repeat row 2 until your work measures around 16 and a half inches from the first row like that so I'll work a few more rows for my doll size and meet you back when you have 16 and a half inches of your work finished once your work is 16 and a half inches from the beginning mine is only 4 inches as I'm making a doll size once it's 16 and a half we'll add the lacy border and you'll have a very long rectangle for your woman size small or medium it will be around 64 inches long chain 2 
chain 3 to start the lacy row. This chain 3 will count as your first double crochet here and throughout the rest of the pattern. Chain 3 and turn. We are working row 1 of the lacy row. Row 1 of the lacy hem, sorry. And work a double crochet, chain 1 and a double crochet into the same stitch as your beginning chain 3. That is the very first stitch. So work a double crochet, chain 1 and a double crochet into the very first stitch. So you now have a kind of a half shell worked at the end or the beginning of your row. Chain 1 skip the next three stitches one two three and work a single crochet into the next chain one skip the next three stitches one two and three and work a lacy shell into the next the pattern for the shell is double crochet chain one double crochet chain two double crochet chain one and a double crochet in the middle you have a chain two and the rest is all chain one between the double crochet stitches. So let's start. One double crochet. Chain one. Second double crochet. Chain two. third double crochet chain one and the fourth double crochet which completes the shell into that stitch now chain one skip the next three stitches single crochet into the next chain one skip the next three stitches and work a lacy shell into the next which is a double crochet that's the first double crochet chain one second double crochet chain two third double crochet into the same stitch chain one fourth double crochet into the same stitch to complete your shell chain one skip the next three stitches one single crochet into the next chain one skip the next three stitches lacy shell in the next keep working this pattern until you have four stitches left lacy shell chain one skip three stitches one single crochet in the next chain one skip three stitches lacy shell in the next chain one skip three stitches one single crochet in next chain one so keep working like that until you have four stitches left at the end of your row remember the beginning chain will be your very last stitch so I'll meet you when you have four stitches left to the end of the row now I'm at the end of my first lacy row and I have four stitches left that is three stitches and the beginning chain I've worked a single crochet into the stitch so chain one skip the next three stitches and on top of the beginning chain work a double crochet chain one and two double crochet so work a double crochet chain one and two double crochet so that will give you a half shell at the end of the row so now you should have 25 full shells and one half shell at the beginning and the end of your rectangle 
Let's begin row 2, chain 1 and turn. 1 single crochet into the same stitch as chain 1. That is the very first double crochet. Work a single crochet into that. Chain 2 and work a V-stitch into the next single crochet in that valley between the shells. A V-stitch is made of one double crochet chain one and a double crochet into the very same stitch. So work a V-stitch into the next single crochet, double crochet chain one, double crochet worked into the same stitch that will form a V-stitch, chain two, one single crochet in the chain two space of the next shell. The chain two space is in the middle of the shell. Work a single crochet there. Chain two. A V stitch in the next single crochet between the two shells. That is a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet. So you completed a V stitch, chain two, one single crochet in the chain two space of the next shell, chain two, V stitch in the next single crochet, that is a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet, chain two, a single crochet in the chain two space of the next shell. So keep repeating this pattern until you work a V-stitch in your very last single crochet stitch between your last full shell and your half shell. So once you work a V-stitch into this single crochet here, come back and I'll meet you there. I have now completed a V-stitch in my very last single crochet between my last full shell and the half shell at the end of the row. Now chain two and one single crochet on top of beginning chain three. You will skip the two double crochet and work a single crochet into the beginning chain three. So that completes our row two. Now to begin row three, chain one, turn, one single crochet into the same stitch as beginning chain one, chain one and work a lacy shell into the next v-stitch into the chain one space of the next v-stitch so a lacy shell is made of a double crochet chain one second double crochet chain two third double crochet, chain one, and the fourth and the very last double crochet into the same V-stitch. Chain one, and work a single crochet on top of the next single crochet worked on top of a shell here. So go ahead and work a single crochet on top of the next single crochet, chain one, Work a lacy shell into the chain one space of the next V-stitch, a double crochet, chain one, a double crochet, chain two, a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Let me get some yarn here. chain one and one single crochet in the single crochet on top of the next shell. Chain one, lacy shell in the next V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain one and a double crochet into the same V-stitch chain one, one single crochet in the next single crochet on top of the shell, chain one, 
lacy shell into the next V stitch. So keep repeating the pattern. That should be a chain two. So keep repeating this until you have worked a shell into the very last V stitch and I'll meet you at the end of the row. I'm now at the end of row three and have worked a shell into my very last V stitch. To complete the row, chain one and work a single crochet into the very last stitch. The very last single crochet there. So that completes row three. Now chain three and turn. We're going to start row four. One double crochet in the same stitch as chain three. Chain two. Single crochet in the chain two space of the next shell. Chain two. We stitch in the next single crochet between the shells here and a V stitch is a double crochet chain one and a double crochet worked into the same stitch chain two one single crochet in the chain two space of the next shell chain two we stitch in the next single crochet chain 2, single crochet in the chain 2 space of the next shell, chain 2, we stitch in the single crochet between the shells, double crochet, chain 1 and a double crochet, chain 2, a single crochet in the next shell, chain 2, a we stitch in the next single crochet, Keep repeating this until you work a single crochet into the chain 2 space of the very last shell. This is our fourth row. I'm almost at the end of my round, my row, sorry. Now I'm going to work my single crochet into the chain two space of the very last shell. Chain two and two double crochet into the last single crochet. So this is the last single crochet, work two double crochet into that and that completes row four. So let's begin row 5, chain 3, turn, 1 double crochet, chain 1 and a double crochet into the same stitch as beginning chain 3. So work a double crochet, chain 1 and a double crochet into the same stitch as chain 3. That creates a half shell. Now chain 1 and work a single crochet into the next single crochet on top of the shell. Chain 1, work a lacy shell into the next V-stitch, the chain 1 space of the next V-stitch. So that is a double crochet, chain 1, a double crochet, chain 2, a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet that completes a lacy shell chain one one single crochet into the next single crochet on top of the shell chain one 
one lacy shell into the next V stitch here double crochet chain one double crochet chain two double crochet chain one and double crochet chain one single crochet into the next single crochet on top of the shell so keep repeating this pattern until you work a single crochet on top of your last single crochet of the row and I'll meet you at the end of the row I've now worked a single crochet on top of my last single crochet on top of the shell chain one and work a double crochet chain one and a two double crochet on top of the beginning chain three to complete your row five a double crochet chain one and two double crochet into the top of beginning chain three so there you have another half shell so you have completed rows one to five and to add to the width of your lacy shell to add to the width of your lacy hem sorry repeat rows two to five and then follow it up with a repeat of two and three and your lacy hem once you finish it will be five and a half almost five and a half inches wide so go ahead and work repeat of rows two to five and then follow it up with a repeat of two rows two and three and meet me at the end of your lacy hem i have now completed all the rows of my lazy hem i did not make it in doll size but i made it in the woman size small so you can see how i work the shells along the sleeve edges as well the lazy hem will be around five and a half inches for woman size small or medium and for all the sizes actually all the woman sizes have the same size hem so it will be around five and a half inches and now do not fasten off just pull the loop up like that so your work doesn't unravel and we will now seam the poncho and come back to this later and continue working a border along the edge of the sleeve we'll add we'll be adding shells there so now let's seam the poncho this is the right side of the shell this is the wrong side this is the right side which looks smoother and we will be doing a mattress stitch on the right side of our work so take your big rectangle keep it wrong side facing up and fold it along the length like that so you will have a very big piece obviously because you made a woman's size fold it like that your right side should be outside this is the wrong side of your shell and the right side should be outside and leave a 13 and a half inches gap for the neck 13 and a half inches for the neck and then seam the next 10 inches and the remaining you will leave open for the sleeve slit so skip 13 inches 13 and a half inches and seam 10 the next 10 inches and we will do a mattress stitch on the right side of the fabric so fold like that and I'm using a contrasting color yarn here you will use the same yarn obviously I'm using a contrasting color so you can see it so I'm going to seam 10 inches after leaving 13 and a half inches free for the neck so I'm going to do a mattress stitch to work a mattress stitch you work from the wrong side of the fabric that is the inside you have the wrong side inside so you will insert your hook from the wrong side to the right side of your fabric through the first stitch and bring it out like that and again you work from the wrong side of the fabric to the right side and insert into the stitch opposite to the stitch you just inserted on the other side like that again from the wrong side work into the next stitch do not skip any stitches from the wrong side to the right side work into the next stitch from the wrong side to the right side work into the next stitch on the other side from the wrong side to the right side work into the next free stitch on the opposite side 
then come to the other side and work from the wrong side to the right side now work into the other side from the wrong side to the right side you should make sure that you don't skip any stitches from the wrong side to the right side and if you pull the stitches finally when you pull it it's going to disappear if you use the same color it will just totally blend in and give you a very flat seam I can show you the woman's size how I worked it this is how the seam looks very flat so go ahead work a mattress stitch for 10 inches leaving a 13 and a half inch opening for the neck and come back and I'll show you how to add the shells along the sleeve edges so we have now completed seaming the poncho and let's continue from where we left off put your hook back in there into the loop and we'll work shells across the side of your poncho all the way up until you hit the next corner and then turn there that is where you have the sleeve slit and you will work single crochet across the slit putting two in that junction again single crochet down the slit and then you will turn your poncho and work shells all across to the end of the hem on the back side so that will complete your poncho so let's start first place markers at the base of each of the half shells here you have one two and three half shells at the base of each of the half shells place a marker that will help you know where to work your shells so there here is another half shell put a marker there here is another one so put one there so now you will be working shells into each of these three marked spaces at the corner work one more single crochet that will help you turn chain one and work a lacy shell into that marked point so that will be you can take it out now now that you know where to work you can take it out double crochet chain one double crochet chain two double crochet chain one and one more double crochet chain one and work a single crochet in between these two marked places that is where you have your first shell and the next marker between that in the middle work a single crochet chain one work a shell in the next mark space I'll take that out work a shell chain one and work a single crochet between this shell and the marker right here at the base of the next row in the middle work a single crochet chain one and work a shell in the next mark space and now work a single crochet into the third herringbone half double crochet row that is the first one second and the third so work a single crochet at the end of the third herringbone half double crochet row like that now chain one and from now on you'll be having you'll have to work shells across the herringbone half double crochet rows and you will work one shell across each each of the four herringbone half double crochet rows so I will skip two and work a shell here and 
and I'll skip two and then work a single crochet in that junction. Chain one, skip two herringbone half double crochets and work a shell into the next junction. You will obviously have a lot more shells to reach the corner because you'll be having more herringbone half double crochet rows while working your woman size. So complete work shells to the end of the row. Single crochet in the corner. And now we'll be working along the sleeve slit. This is where your seam is. So work single crochet across the sleeve slit and work two single crochet when you reach that junction. So work single crochet across, one single crochet across each stitch. And when you reach the junction, put two there. Then turn your work and work single crochet across the second side of the slit. Now we have reached the base of the slit, put two single crochet there, turn your work and start working shells across this side as well. So work one shell across four rows, four rows of herring one half double crochet, chain one, work a shell. Skip two herringbone half double crochets and work a single crochet into the next junction. Chain one, work another shell after two rows. So keep repeating that until you finish the length of your herringbone half double crochet rows and then work across the shells. Chain one after your shell, skip two herring one half double crochet rows and then a single crochet. Chain one and work a shell into the base of this half shell here. Remember that's where you place the markers. So just try to mirror that. Now just look at your back side and align your single crochet and your shells with the shells on the back. So your single crochet is here, so right in front of that, go ahead and do your single crochet. Now see where your next shell is? It's right here, the middle of the shell is here somewhere. So you can work like that. Just look at where it's going to give, get, give you an idea. And then just try to mirror that side. Okay, now you have the single crochet here, so right in front of that, work your single crochet, chain one, and see where your next shell is, it's somewhere here, so go ahead and work there. Chain 
chain one and single crochet in the very last stitch at the corner there and fasten off so we have now completed adding the shells to all the sides of your sleeve and your poncho is now complete and ready to wear so go ahead and add four wooden buttons to your seam on the shoulder they're just for embellishment it doesn't open so just distribute the four buttons i used one 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 and quarter inch one and quarter inch buttons to um for the woman size small and medium so you can use four of those and now i'll come back and show you how to wear the poncho slip the poncho down the head like that and fold down the excess fabric to form the collar. So that's how. And your poncho is ready.